The growing and harvesting of the grape was one of the first pursuits of civilized man. Across the great vineyards of the old world, a spirit of particular taste and meaning came to be known by such unusual names as Eau de Vie and Brandwein. Today, we call it brandy, truly the soul of the grape. The carefully preserved traditions of brandy making are to be seen throughout the famous grape growing regions of Europe. But the heritage of brandy has also been transposed to the rich and fertile valleys of the New World. The discovery of California revealed a land of continuous sunshine and rich soil, essential to the production of fine quality brandies. The Spanish padres found they could grow and harvest grapes and from them they made wines and brandies for sacramental use and for sale as a source of revenue. By 1774, the supply ship Santiago sailed from Monterey with four barrels of California brandy bound for Spain. Soon after, Colonel Agustin Harasthi, a Hungarian nobleman, transplanted to the California soil over 100,000 vines from Europe. By 1840, there was only one essential element to the production of brandy, which was still missing. People. James Marshall indirectly resolved this shortage when he discovered gold on the American River in 1848. Immigrants swarmed to California on ships abandoned by their crews in San Francisco Harbor. Thousands walked or rode the 1,800-mile overland trail from the Midwest. However, the great 49er gold rush subsided as quickly as it had begun, and thousands of luckless miners returned to agriculture. Charles Kohler, a German immigrant, brought to California a much-needed business spirit. He was able to create domestic and international markets for the new California brandies. Brandy making had its share of mavericks. General Harry Naglee made fine brandy, but he claimed his brandy could cure everything from typhoid and assorted fevers to fits of depression. Then there was the notorious E.J. Lucky Baldwin, a devotee of smooth brandy, fast horses, and even faster women. Shot twice by lady friends, Lucky narrowly escaped a third attack when he tried to sell his brandy to the Mormon leader, Brigham Young. By the turn of the century, however, these early Californians had created a respected spirit. It was an era that will long be remembered for the development of fine grapes and brandies. Today, in California's San Joaquin Valley, second and third generation families are busy preserving the best of the brandy making traditions. Brandy grapes require consistent sun and moisture during their growth cycle. Growers have learned to tap underground rivers and supplemented by careful land management, are capable of providing their vineyards with the proper amounts of water during the long, hot summers. It is this natural balance of heat and moisture which is so important to the growth of ripe, sound grapes. Since the time of Agustin Harasthi, California has nurtured over 125 varieties of grapes used for making brandy. The Thompson seedless, along with the Tokay variety, are the nucleus in the production of brandy, while others are used to contribute specific qualities. Before harvesting can begin, the sugar content of the grape must reach the proper level. The growers combine scientific methods with their instinctive abilities to determine the precise moment for picking. During the harvest, it appears that all roads in the valley lead to the brandy distilleries. California brandies are prepared from fresh young wines, and it is important that the grapes enter the age-old process soon after they are picked. Each load is weighed for volume and identified according to grape variety. 
A core sample is taken from each gondola to verify the grape's sugar content. Having passed the first of several character tests, the grapes are deposited into large steel crushers, the modern version of the ancient hand presses. It is here that the grapes are converted into a free-running river of juice. Yeast will be added to initiate the fermentation process, which will transform the grape juices into young wines. By passing steam through the young wine in large distilling tanks, the liquid's alcoholic content, the heart, is separated from the less desirable elements called heads and tails to capture the soul of the grape. Brandy making is a science as much as it is an art. Throughout the various production stages, chemists, enologists, and laboratory technicians will carefully control the personality of the brandy. After the young wines have been distilled into fresh brandy, they are aged in charred oak barrels. Oak staves, tule flagging, and steel hoops are the raw materials which comprise the cooper's timeless craft. The ritual of barrel making is perhaps too important and too sacred ever to replace. The slow passage of time in these oaken barrels is essential to the splendid character and softened tones of California brandy. It is in these barrels that the oak imparts certain mellowing characteristics as well as golden coloring to the brandy. From the moment the barrels are sealed, California brandies begin their sabbatical in oak. Law requires they age in wood at least two years, but most California brandies age four years, and some much longer. Brandy matures only while in these oaken barrels. Such labels as 50-year-old Napoleon thus become misleading and meaningless. For any brandy kept in a barrel for 50 years would have evaporated long ago, and any kept in a bottle that long would taste the same as it did when it first left the wood. Unlike wine, Brandy ages only in the barrel. Thus, patience is more than just a virtue in making fine brandy. It's a necessity. The consummate art of brandy making comes into fullest play after the aging process has been completed. Samples are taken of the mature brandy as it is poured and directed to processing tanks. Testing and analysis is important in determining the character of the brandy for the most exacting scrutiny of all, the taster. Each taster is expert in the art of detecting and identifying the most delicate nuances of the brandy. His discriminating palate becomes the final arbiter as he tastes and classifies the various samplings. In many cases, a formula or recipe will be created for blending the proper amounts of different brandies. In each distillery, the brandy master controls the final blending process to ensure the quality and individual character of his product. Bottling signifies the moment when the brandy maker's art is culminated and when the consumer becomes the final judge of a drink whose heritage and carefully nurtured life began with the fertile earth beneath the warming sun and in a special region of the world, California. California brandy, the drink of infinite mixability, is always full of surprises. And unlike other liquors, brandy, stemming from the grape, has a special affinity for fruit-based drinks. Straight or mixed, the choice is yours for the timely spirit, the brandies of California. Walking and digging the weather Watching the sun Groovy just being together When the look that I see Is a smile that's for me It's gotta be real Something too, you 
know that love's a thing if you can make it, ain't it? But it's no good if you have to fake it. It's gotta be real. It's gotta be real. Walking and digging the weather. Watching the sun. We just being together when the look that I see is a smile that's for me. It's gotta be real. If it's inside that it shows. Be real. 